recording in progress. So here, uh, let me explain about the therapeutic diet. First of all, what is therapeutic diet? It is a meal or diet plan that control the intake of certain foods or nutrient. It is the part of the treatment of a medical condition and are normally prescribed by a physician and also planned by a dietitian. A therapeutic diet is usually a modification of a regular diet. The therapeutic diet we can categorize liquid, soft, blend, low protein content diet, low sodium content or high fiber content, low purine content or diabetic diet or celiac disease diet. Hmm? The clear liquid diet, first one. Clear liquid, basically fluid, or full liquid, or sometimes soft, which is the regular. Hmm? So like full liquid, example, milk, ice cream, pudding, or all juices, we call full liquid. But here, let me talk about the clear liquid first. Clear liquid, usually the very transparent liquid at the room temperature. So when your patient is recommended liquid food, we find it out, is it clear or full liquid? Because liquid diet, two categories. One is clear, other is the full liquid. The clear liquid usually transparent and liquid at the room temperature. Example, water is a clear liquid. Jilo is a clear liquid. Keep this note. Any kind of clear liquid usually syrup or both is a clear liquid. Clear liquid prevent the dehydration and less output. Like example, hospital issues vegetable juice and chicken soap. They are clear liquid or full liquid. They are not a clear liquid, they are full liquid. Keep in mind any food, any kind of food is considered soft food not a clear liquid or full liquid. Let me read it. They said, first of all, indication of the clear liquid served the primary function of providing fluid and electrolyte to prevent the dehydration. Who take the clear liquid? The person who have difficulty to take the food orally or GI problem, right? And clear liquid we use usually clear juices, gelatin or both. Initial feeding after complete the bowel rest, 
and used initially to feed a malnourished person or a person who has not had any oral intake for some time. Clear liquid diet is used for bowel preparation, for surgery, or test, as well as post-operatively and in the client with the fever, vomiting, and diarrhea. Clear liquid diet is used in gastroenteritis. Any pathology in the gastrointestinal system, we prefer the clear liquid. So if our patient need to take the clear liquid, what we need to know them or what we should know for our practice. Nursing consideration. The clear liquid is defic uh, deficient in energy and many nutrients. The body digests and absorbs clear liquid easily and contribute to little or no residual in GI tract and can be up appetizing, unappetizing and boring. Yes, it is. So nothing, no good food is tasty, right? Like a carrot. Carrot has a lot of uh, nutrient values, but we don't like to eat carrots or cucumber. It is very uh, good food for the body. As a transient diet, the clear liquid are intended for a short time usually. The clear liquid or food that relatively transparent to the light and liquid at a room temperature are considered clear liquid, such as water or clear both, carbonated beverage, gelatin, hard candy, ice pop, and also regular or decaffeinated coffee or tea. So limited caffeine intake may prevent an upset, sto upset stomach or sleeplessness. So it is good to restrict it, not too much caffeinated food. What else? Nursing consideration. The client may have a salt or sugar or dairy product or fruit juice with pulp are not a clear liquid. It should be full liquid. Full liquid. When patient is able to drink, then we give them li clear liquid to full liquid, then from full liquid to soft food or next blend food. So monitor the client hydration status who take who undertaking the liquid or full liquid or parental nutrition. So we could monitor strictly import output, make sure checking the patient body weight, monitoring for edema and monitor for sign of dehydration. Very important for NCLEX sport. So each kilogram of weight gain or lost is equal to one liter of fluid raised in the raised or lost. Hmm? And one kilogram equal to 2.2 pound. Now let me talk about the full liquid diet. 
indicator or indication first may be used as a transition of diet after clear liquid or surgery or the client who have difficulty of chewing, difficulty of swallowing or difficulty to tolerate the solid food. So soft and full uh, clear liquid in between we use the full liquid. Nursing consideration. A full liquid diet is nutritionally deficit in energies. And many, also many nutrient as like as clear liquid. The diet include both clear and opaque liquid foods and those that are liquid at the body temperature. As I told you, the clear or full liquid should be transparent or liquid at a room temperature. The food include all clear liquid and with items such as ice cream, breakfast drinks, milk, pudding, custard, soap that are sustained or cooked cereal, fruit juice, all is full liquid. Use a complete nutritional liquid supplement is often necessary to meet nutrient needs for the client on a full liquid diet or more than three days. So provide the nutritional support such as those with high in protein or those as prescribed for client on a liquid diet. Now, soft diet. As I told you, all kind of food considered as a soft diet, except nut or seed. They never considered a soft diet. Hmm? Soft diet, sometimes we use a low residual diet. So soft diet or low residual diet are the foods that are low in fiber and easy to digest. What the indication of soft diet? Provide food that have been mechanically altered in texture to require minimal chewing or used for a client who have difficulty of chewing, but who are tolerate more variety in texture. Used for the client who have dental problem, have a undergo surgery for neck and head area, or have a dyspnea, require swallowing and evaluate and may require thickening liquid if the client has swallow difficulties. What is consideration? So degree of texture modification depends on individual neck, including food and mustard ground or chop. Food to be avoided in mechanical altered diet include nut or seed or raw fruits and vegetables, fried fruits, chocolate, candy, smoked and salted meat or food with coarse structure. 
what else? So now soft diet continue. Soft diet we so soft diet used to the client with a difficulty of chewing or swallowing. Like some patient has difficulty of chewing or swallow, it is difficult for them to uh, blend or any other fluid. It is good to go them soft diet. So used for the client with the ulcer in the mouth or gum, broken jaws, or dysphysia, uh, means difficulty of respiration. Or for those who have experienced the oral surgery, plastic surgery of the head and neck areas. For this consideration, the client with mouth sore should be served foods at a cooler temperature. The client who have difficulty of chewing or swallow because of reduce the flow of saliva and decrease the salivary flow by sucking on a sore candy. We should encourage the client to eat a variety of foods and provide plenty of fluid with meal to easy to chewing and swallow of the food completely. Now, soft fluid continue. What is nursing consideration? Drinking the fluids through a straw may be easier than the drinking from a cup or glasses. A straw may not be allowed for a client with dysphysia. Dysphysia means shortness of breath. Why patient has a dysphysia if or due to lack of aspiration, risk of aspiration? Why you give them straw to prevent aspiration? All foods and seasoning are permitted. However, liquid or chop or other regular foods with soft consistency are tolerated to best. Food that contain the nut and seed which are usually become trapped in mouth or cause of discomfortness should be avoided. As I told you, all food we consider as a soft food except nut and seed. They never consider the soft food. So consider the client disease or illness when you choose the different diet and how it may affect his or her nutrition status, important to know. Now go for low fiber or low residual diet. So low fiber. We know that when patient has a constipation or immobilization or elderly patient, we need to give high fiber diet. For some medical conditions, sometimes we need to give low fiber or low protein diet or low sodium diet, right? So now let me talk about the low residual diet. Supplied food that are least likely to form an obstruction when intestine is intact is or 
narrow by inflammation. So like you imagine our GI is narrow because of underlying cause, it is inflammation. In that scenario, we can give them low fiber diet. Low fiber diet is used for inflammatory bowel disease, partial obstruction of the intestinal tract, gastroenteritis, diarrhea, or other GI disorder. What is nursing consideration? Food that are low in residue include white bread, include cooked cereal, include potatoes without skin, peeling out first, then use white rice or other form of pasta. Food to limit or avoid are raw fruits, also vegetables, nut and seeds or plants, fiber or ground grains. So all of these is high fiber food, but you have to avoid them because we are in low fiber diet, we're talking. Lipid product should be limited. Now, most common, high fiber. So high fiber prevent constipation. So any patient on the bed rest, they need high fiber food. Or any patient is immobilized for a long time, they need high fiber food. So, example whole grain, fruits, vegetables, is indicate the high fiber food. Let me read it. Used for client with a constipation, eatable bowel syndrome, or when the primary symptoms is altering constipation and diarrhea. Maybe tomorrow is diarrhea or tomorrow is constipation. Day after tomorrow is diarrhea again. So alter the bowel habit. They need high fiber food. What is nursing consideration? Provide 20 to 35 gram of dietary fiber, added volume and weight to the stool, stool and spread the movement of underlying materials through the intestine. Also consists of fruits, vegetables and whole grain product. Increase fiber generally or provide adequate fluids to reduce the possible understandable side effect, such as abdominal cramp, broting, diarrhea, and dehydration. And also gas forming food should be limited. Here is the list where we found what food contain the gas forming, like apples, beans, broccoli, cabbage, melons, milk, nut, soybean, wheat, and yeast. They produce gas. Now, cardiac friendly foods indicate indicated for atherosclerosis diabetic and hyperlipidemia so diabetic patient has to have a restriction hyperlipidemia has a restriction not to take cholesterol containing food or atherosclerotic patient hypertension or myocardial infarction nephrotic syndrome or kidney failure is related with it. 
and reduce the risk of heart failure disease. Dietary approach to stop the hypertension and recommended to prevent and control hypertension or hypercholesteremia and obesity. So if your patient have a hypertensive, they need to follow a special food and we call DASS. Mm -hmm. So we modify that food because of the particular patient or dietary approach to stop the hypertension is recommended to the prevent and control high blood pressure, prevent and control high cholesterol, and prevent obesity related or associated complication. The DASS diet include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, low fat diet, foods, met uh, meat, fish, roti, nard, and beans. And also tell your patient to limit it in sugar or sweet and foods and beverages. Red meat and also added um, fat, important. So nursing consideration, restrict the total amount of fat including saturated, trans, polyunsaturated, and monosaturated cholesterol and sodium as well. Hmm? So what is next? Here showing sodium freeze um, spaces or Cardiac diet or sodium restricted diet, low sodium is good to take the your patient who has sodium restriction. Usually low sodium or sodium restriction for heart problem patient, like hypertension or chronic heart failure. And for low sodium diet, we tell you patient, no canned food, no preservative food. Keep in mind, any preservative food like meat, they contain high sodium. Usually heart failure or uh, acute heart failure or hypertension patient, they need low sodium and they need the food which is contain the low sodium and low fat. Here's the example some ginger, lemon, then mustard, nut, bay leaves, garlic powder, and curry powder sodium free spaces. Fat restricted diet. Hmm? In what medical condition we tell your patient do not take enough fat? Everybody can answer high cholesterol, atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, or stroke, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. They need to take less amount of fat. So let me read it for the indication. Used to reduce the pro protein and abdominal pain, or we can reduce the teatoria or flatulence, diarrhea occasionally with the high intake and dietary fat, and is decreased the nutrient losses causes by in uh, digestion of the dietary 
fed or in individual with male absorptive disease and used for the client with a male absorption dietary disorder, pancreatitis, gallbladder disease, or gall gastrointestinal reflex. Hmm. So now question, what are the other disease patient need fat restriction? If your patient has diagnosed by congestive heart failure, if your patient diagnosed by minus disease, we need restriction of the fat intake. Next here. What is the nursing consideration about the fat restriction? So restriction of the total amount of fat, including saturated fat, trans fat, fully unsaturated fat, and monosaturated fat. Client with male absorption may also have a difficulty of tolerate the fiber and lactose. Vitamins and minerals deficiency may occur in the client with a diarrhea or steatoria. Steatoria means stool mixed with fat. And also the fecal fast test may be prescribed or indicate the male absorption with the excretion of more than six to eight gram of fat. Now go for high calorie, high protein diet. So high protein diet when you prescribed, like elderly patient, bound patient, pregnant mother, we always provide high protein. Usually food are red meat, fish, beans, they contain high protein. And high fiber, usually prepare uh, high protein and high calories. Hmm. So severe stress, burn, cancer, human immunodeficiency virus infusion, acquired immunodeficiency or HIV, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or respiratory failure, or any other type of uh, debilitating disease. They're supposed to take high calorie, high protein. What is nursing consideration? So, carrying nutrient dense, high calorie, high protein food such as a whole milk or milk product, peanut, butter, seed, beef, chicken, or pork, pork, fish or pork. Caressing the uh, your patient to take the snacks in between meal, such as milk sack or instant breakfast, also nutritional supplement. So calorie count assist in determine the client total nutritional intake and identify a deficit of excess. Uh, intake. Now, carbohydrate um, let me go back again here 
calorie in a cyst. Now here, carbohydrate resistant diet. In what medical condition we are not allowing to take enough carbohydrate? One is called diabetic patient, right? So uncontrolled diabetes mellitus or patient hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. So both cases we need to concern. So nursing consideration, the exchange syndrome for, or exchange system group food occurring in the amount of carbohydrate. So the person who developed by the Academy of Nutrition or Dietitian, we increase the total amount of carbohydrate intake. So the guideline that may be recommended, we exchange the system groups food according to the amount of the carbohydrate, amount of fat and amount of the protein that may contain. Major food groups include carbohydrates, the meat and meat substitute, and the fat groups, including the excessive um, exchange system or high carbohydrate conscious diet. The carbohydrate conscious diet because a focus on maintain a consistent amount of carbohydrate intake each day and with the, each meal, also known as carbohydrate containing food. Next here. Sodium restricted diet or which is called low sodium. So who is take low sodium or sodium restricted? If patient hypertensive, if patient has a heart failure, if patient has a kidney disease or cardiac disease, and if patient have a liver problem. So it is good to give them limited sodium intake food. So individual can include four gram of sodium. Four gram of sodium daily, right? Or some books said two to three gram of sodium daily in case of moderate restriction. And one gram of sodium daily, if you have restricted or severely restriction, we encouraging intake of fresh rather than proceed food. So intake food is better than the proceed food. Can frozen, instant, smoked, pick, uh, pickled, or box items usually contain higher amount of sodium. On the other hand, like soy sauce, salad, fat food, soap, breakfast, cereal, and snacks such as potato strips, they also contain a good amount of sodium. So sodium restricted diet means give them low sodium containing food. So it is hard to find out low sodium containing food. So it is good or easy to restrict it or not to give food which contain high sodium. Or we, we give them low sodium diet and prevent heart failure, prevent hypertension and Keep it in mind for low sodium diet, we never ever give canned food or any preservative food or meat. Low sodium 
and low food rest, uh, restriction we need essential for many diseases or chronic heart failure patient so we encourage intake a fresh food no canned food or frozen food and also salt substitute may be necessary to improve the palatabilities, increase the taste, low uh, protein restricted diet, used to renal disease or end stage liver disease. Nutritional status or critically ill client with the protein losing the condition such as their protein needs should have the protein needs assessed by estimating the protein equality for the nitrate um, appearance. Nitrate appearance and nutrition should um, here. Nutritionist should be consulted. What is nursing consideration? Provide enough protein in maintain nutritional status, but not an amount that will allow the buildup of waste product from protein metabolism. Less protein allowed, the more important it becomes that all protein in the diet be of a high biological values. An adequate total emergency intake from the food is critical for the client on protein restricted diet. Next here, protein restricted diet, what is the nursing care? Specific low protein product such as pasta, bread, cookies, or gelatin made with white starch and can improve the energy intake and aid the body of diet. Carbohydrate in powdered or liquid form can also provide additional energy. Vegetables and fruits contain some proteins for very low protein diet in this food must be calculated in the diet so low protein diet or low purine diet important to know so low protein diet for the kidney patient or low protein we should avoid the red meat or we should avoid the meat for low protein it is good if if you tell your patient or focus the fresh juice and vegetables so what next gluten free diet we called sometime celiac diet gluten free a treatment for celiac disease or gluten sensitivity for the client needing the protein uh, fraction. Gluten eliminated from their diet, particularly fluid restriction may be prescribed for client with hyponatremia or CPR, extracellular fluid volumes or renal disorder is important to concern. Ask the client carefully about the preference regarding type of oral fluids and temperature preference of the fluid. So gluten diet means food for gluten-free product. Easy way to remember that no barley, no rice, no oat, or no wheat. It says gluten-free. 
now go for renal diet. So indication first, acute kidney injury or chronic kidney, kidney disease or those clients requiring hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis, it is called renal diet. Nursing consideration, control amount of protein, sodium, phosphorus, calcium, potassium, and fluid may prescribed, or may also require modification of the amount of fiber, cholesterol, fat based on individual requirements. The client on potential dialysis usually have diet prescribed that are less sensitive with fluid and protein intake and, and then those on dialysis. Most clients who are receiving dialysis need to restrict the fluid. Initial data collection include identification of allergies and fluid, food and medication interaction. So renal diet means protein restricted diet. So, or we can give them no protein. So renal diet contain tell your patient to chewing gum or suck the heart candy if they feel thirsty or freeze fluids, fro frozen fluids so that take longer to consume or add some lemon juices to water or to make it more refreshing. Also, garlic with refrigerated mouthwash can work in case of renal diet. What next? Now, potassium modifying diet. Indicator, a low protein diet is indicated for low protein. Indicate for hyperkalemia, which may be the result of impaired renal function. Or hypoaldosteronism, Addison disease, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, also immunosuppressive, potassium retaining diet. They are potassium modifying diet. High potassium diet is indicate hypokalemia, which may be result in the renal tubular acidosis, GI losses, intracellular shift, potassium wasting diabetics, or antibiotics, or, min or mineralocorticoids or glucocorticoid exceed causes by primary or secondary aldosteronism. Foods that are low in sodium include green beans, cabbage, lettuce, uh, peppers, grapes, or cooked the summer um, plush or cooked the green fruits. They are restricted sodium restricted. Now, high calcium diet. Calcium is needed during bone growth and in adolescence to prevent osteoporosis and facilitate the vascular contraction and also they can cause vasodilation or muscle contraction and nerve transmission. So this is the some important uh, function of calcium, right? When we need the patient calcium diet, because calcium is important for bones and tears function, 
the important component for nerve and muscle function and clotting factor. What is nursing uh, consideration? Primary dietary source of calcium are dairy product. The client with lactose intolerance need to incorporate mandatory source of calcium into their diet regularly. Now, the last two here, low purine diet. So keep in mind, low purine prevent uh, patient who have a gout, we give them low purine. Or low purine, you have to avoid organ meat like kidney or liver, you have to avoid alcohol beverages, or you have to avoid some fish or seafood. Seafood or some fish, alcohol beverages, organ meat are high purine food. It is good to avoid. What are the indication of low purine, like gout, kidney stone, and elevated uric acid level? What is the nursing consideration? Purine is a precursor of uric acid, which form the stone and crystal. Food to restrict the include the L, um, some seafood, sardine, or meat, wild games or sweet bread, organ meat, seafood, sardine, herring, caught fish contain high purine, bacon, turkey, all of this, good to avoid. Now go iron containing food, especially we use anemia. If patient deficiency of iron, we call iron deficiency anemia. So what we need to know for NCLEX board, the two points, high iron diet replaces an iron deficit and causes by inadequate intake or loss. The diet include organ meat, egg yolk, whole white product, dark green leafy vegetables, leafy or colorful vegetables, legumes, dry food, all is contain high protein. Keep in mind, vitamin C increase the absorption of vitamins and iron. So vitamin C is good to give with iron. So inform the client that con count take of vitamin C increase the absorption of iron. Hmm? Iron with antacid is not a good choice. Hmm? So Always better to avoid the iron and antacid together.